On a much more somber note, it should have been a vacation to remember, and it is, but for all the wrong reasons. Lisa Guerrero on a family's quest to make a popular vacation pastime safer after their 13-year-old daughter was killed. Tubing, it's an incredibly popular water sport. But today, these grieving parents say they never expected an innocent tube ride like this could turn tragic. She was just a happy, bright little girl who just loved life. On the last day of their vacation on the island paradise of Aruba, 13-year-old Cassidy Marie convinced her dad to join her on a tubing excursion through this popular outfitter called Fun for Everyone. This looks like a fun activity. This looks safe. They have life jackets on them. They're both strong swimmers and she's with her dad. What could possibly go wrong? Cassidy's dad says just five minutes into the ride, there was trouble. Cassidy then got ejected from the raft. He says there was no lookout or spotter on board, just the driver operating the boat. There was only one person on the boat. That was the captain of the boat. He barely looked back. He glanced once in a while. So there's nobody spotting you? No spotter whatsoever. Cassidy's dad said when the boat's operator finally circled back to pick her up, he suddenly lost control and hit the throttle. He says the boat slammed into Cassidy and she was struck by the spinning propeller. What I witnessed, no parents should witness to see the way their child was. Cassidy's father and the boat driver managed to get her here to the beach, where two doctors, also on vacation, tried desperately to save her. But Cassidy didn't survive. No criminal charges were filed. Aruban authorities ruled it an accidental death. Now her family is demanding answers. This cannot cannot continue to happen. They say in a Zoom interview, Aruba's prime minister promised them that they would create a task force to implement safety changes. I would really like to know where the government is at in this task force. The prime minister promised me that she would do this. Cassidy's name can't be associated with the word tragedy for the rest of our lives. What would you say to them today if you could? Putting a spotter on a boat doesn't seem like a hard thing to do, does it? So we flew 2,000 miles to Aruba's blissful beaches to see for ourselves if any changes have been made since Cassidy's death. There's no spotter on that boat, just the driver. We sent two producers back to Fun For Everyone, the same outfit that took Cassidy out into the Caribbean. We've got a reservation to do some tubing. They operate out of this beach front hut on Aruba's famous sun-drenched Palm Beach. Our producer did get a life jacket, but there was no safety briefing, just this. If you want to go fast, thumbs up, you want to go slow, thumbs down. And when they headed out to sea, there was only this guy operating the boat. Yep, a year later and no spotters on board. A spotter on that boat, another employee on that boat, would have saved Cassidy's life. Our producer's ride ended without incident. I'm wondering if you're operating a safe environment here. Yes. Back on shore, I tried to speak to this manager. You didn't have spotters, you didn't give safety briefings, and a 13-year-old girl died here last year. He walked away. There's never an excuse to not have a spotter on a boat. If they don't have the personnel for a spotter, then they shouldn't take the voyage. Today, Cassidy's parents are determined to honor her memory. We can't bring Cassidy back, but we can prevent others from going through the pain. <laughs> The government of Aruba tells us they're deeply saddened by the tragic accident. And while Aruba doesn't have any laws requiring spotters, authorities there say they take the safety of visitors seriously and will continue to assess a wide range of safety protocols on an ongoing basis.